is Jacob Weiss, uh, born and raised in Portland, Oregon. I'm a father of three, Sunny, Violetta, and Kaylin. And uh, my wife is Joanna, and we all live together in Malala, Oregon. Oh man, Kaylin, she is the most fun, energetic, interesting child. She's definitely unusual compared to most kids, but she's like my best friend. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one. She's definitely a girly girl. She plays with unicorns and uh, she loves to cook and she loves it when I, you know, go out of my way to start cooking with her. It's kind of one of her favorite things is that we can do together. Her dog is her emotional support animal. Her world kind of revolves around him most of the time. This is Yerao. He's my little baby. He's very protective of Kayla. <laughs> he is, because he loves me so much. When she was living with her mother, she became one of those students that kind of fell off and didn't end up making it to school every day. I, it became really common to be tardy all the way to the point where I was, I want to say upwards of 30 plus days of complete, you know, absences. I mean, obviously that comes with being, you know, behind in school and struggling with all of the subjects, as well as just like not having a lot of friends because you're just not there to, you know, socialize. At the point of when both me and Kaylin's mother separated, I went from everything going great to, you know, disaster. It became very, very clear that, you know, marijuana was smoked regularly as the smell was pungent just about every time I picked Kaylin up. And it went on to finding out that they were drinking and driving with the kids in the cars. That was on Kaylin's shoulders. She was actually expected to keep it quiet. And an argument turned into uh, the boyfriend taking the kids into the bedroom and the, uh, my daughter's mother breaking down the door with a knife and while my daughter had to call 911 and say, you know, this is happening, and every day it was a concern on whether or not, you know, Kaylin's long-term life is gonna be affected by mom's decisions. The worst part about every bit of that is that uh, mom had sole custody. I didn't have any, you know, ability to make any changes. At that point, you know, I looked into finding an attorney, and my wife actually was the one who stumbled across St. Andrew's Legal Clinic. It seemed too good to be true. I mean, after going through and spending all my money before a couple times, and you already know it's gonna be an uphill battle from that point, you know, the standpoint of not having the money just to throw out the problem. Uh, we met with Chris, and she was like a guardian angel right out of the gate. She told us how, you know, everything was gonna be affordable, that uh, not to have to worry about, uh, dumping everything we have into, you know, a media moment. From that point forward, it was, you know, I felt like I had a backbone. I mean, I felt like going from being, you know, incapable of doing anything to, okay, I'm covered. I, I can, you know, make these choices and I have somebody behind me telling me that I'm making the right choice and that I'm allowed to make this choice and that she even gave me her personal number to the point where whenever something came up that I could directly contact and wasn't left hanging and not sure what to do. I mean, sometimes we wouldn't be able to make a payment. We'd call them and they'd be perfectly fine. They'd say, they even offered at that point that, uh, you know, if you want to take a month off or two months off of making your payment, whatever's going to work to make your life easier. We went through a court battle and I mean, it was, it was, Uphill, but in the end, I did end up getting sole custody, and I'm just very thankful that uh, Chris was understanding and she was incredibly involved. My favorite thing about living with my dad is probably just hanging out with the family and um, like them helping me out with schoolwork. Without St. Andrew's Legal Clinic, uh, my daughter's life would be potentially just a downward, downward spiral. We have a very regular family standard situation. I mean, Kaylin's going to school. She's not missing any school. She loves going to school now. And thanks to St. Andrew's Legal Clinic, I, my family and my daughter have a much brighter future.